can't touch nothing though. I am barred by the group as being a captain and a dancer. When all is over, I can drink what I like. But of course, it grieves me, I may as well tell you the truth, to see all the boys drinking plenty porter in every house, which we dig, we get going down. And all I can drink is a mineral. That's the rules they make with me. And I can see all my band, fine and hearty, and hardly able to play when it nearly finishing up. They'd be so hearty as that we drunk. Well, do you normally like your drink, Sonny? Oh, sure, all my life. As a matter of fact, I was fed in drink. You seem to suggest now that there's welcome for you everywhere. Is there any door slammed against you? No, never a door closed in, in his life. Jack, you're, I think, 79 years of age. I am. Are you going out with the Rand boys this uh, St. Stephen's oh, Day? Oh, indeed, you may be sure I am. If I didn't go out with the Rand boys when I'd see him coming to the house, I'd get as lonesome as it could be. Thinking of old times. The very, you, the very minute I'd hear the music, thinking of all times. Do you actually play yourself? I do. The first time that I ever went in the run, I was only 12 years of age. On a concertina, I would play at that time. And I had only one part of a horn pipe. I couldn't turn it. But I went with the big lads in the run. They had no other player. But the, the one part of the horn pipe done them all right for dancing inside in the houses. So, we'd stop, and we'd have 50 bob made that time. A great night out of it. You'll get a half tier to stow that time for a pound. 16 gallons. You'll get a bucket and jam for, for, for 10 pounds. And we'd be coming from the port and we'd bring in a bucket. Into Jano de Wales in Church Street. And hand him the bucket, and he'd put the bucket up on the scale and weigh it. And he'd go over with his scope to a big bottle, about three feet high, with jam inside in it. And he'd fill the bucket and put it up in the, in the scale, and all we need pay for that was ten pence. There'd be piles of jam anywhere during the night, and when you'd be cutting turf in the month of June after, if you went into that very house, you'd see some of the jam inside in the bucket. Sonny, you mentioned there in talking about the band, the Bowrons, you still make them here yourself? Yes, and John Duggan makes them. First of all, you would look out for a worn sieve. For sieving oats or gravel. A sieve. And uh, you would have the rim, then do you see, the good firm rim. Look out for a goat anywhere. And skin the goat. And shake a grain of lime in the hairy side of the skin and fold it up and if you have any kind of an animal with stable manure bury it in it for about four days take it up and all the hair will come free out of it and then if you're not in a hurry you could nail the skin onto a door to keep it in, in, in a good order like well then, when we became the half sergeant, nailed it onto the bridge of your rim, all around, clap it down in the rim, and turn down a little bit and tack it very close all around. But remember to keep it pulled well. Hang it up then for about a day, and rub a bit of rising to it, ground rising, and make uh, a stick for, for, for tipping it with an oven edge in the bit about nine inches long and a lobe in the middle of it to get into your finger. Well, you can heat the tambourine onto the fire then and tip away and you're not a genius if you weren't able to work the two ends of the tipping. Well, must it be goat skin, Jack? Goat skin, well. If you have no goat skin, if you've got a greyhound, an old greyhound, and to skin him, the greyhound will be the best, but I need a good do. But skin the greyhound 
and tan the skin the very same as the goats. And what a lovely tambourine, a nice thin skin. So the dog would do just as good. Well.